working with a background worker object in order to control the threads in our code we can track the progress of each one of these threads in order to do it we should first assign the value true to the worker reports progress property of the background worker object we are working with once the value true was assigned to this specific property we can assign to the progress change property the name of the method we want to be called each time a progress update is sent from any of the threads we have in our code any of the threads that the background worker object controls once we do it we can within each one of the methods that we have running in separated threads controlled by the background worker we can call the report progress method on the background worker object and pass over a value which is kind of the percentage of the completion of that specific thread this specific method is its main method passing over a value to the report progress indirectly cause an invocation of the method we assigned as the handling method for progress changed here within this method we can get the percentage that was sent by referring the progress percentage property of the progress changed event args object let's see how does it work Another feature we can enjoy when working with the background worker is having a specific method be executed once the background worker completes its work. In order to have that, we should assign to the run worker completed property the name of that specific method we want to be executed when the background worker completes its work in this code sample this specific method is the one that is called when the background worker object completes its work and this is also the reason for the last message we have